The fourth goal is an important one, to help students be competitive in the job market. Not only does English help graduates find jobs and offer often ones that have higher salaries, but it also helps existing students obtain high quality internship opportunities, gain competitive scholarships, or participate in study abroad programs. And the final goal or benefit is students' attitude and motivation. Students can be very positive about learning in English. Some research has even found that students in EMI courses had a more positive attitude toward instruction in general. So I recommend that you keep these goals in mind when you plan and teach your EMI courses. Remember that the focus is on students developing English and content and that they will use this English in their future careers. This is an important part of EMI instruction. These courses should be very practical for your students. And in addition to these goals, many EMI professors find that they experience personal fulfillment when they teach these courses. Not only are they teaching in English, which can be very challenging but rewarding, but they are also learning new teaching methods. So enjoy your experience of planning and teaching your course in English. You are helping your students join a professional community that will offer them many benefits for years to come. Maybe you aren't surprised, given the goals that I've mentioned, that science and engineering programs adopt EMI more rapidly than other majors. Okay, well, we've discussed what EMI is and its goals and benefits, and we've discussed where it's more common. I think that you'll agree that teaching an EMI course is far more than just transferring your regular course content and teaching style from your native language to English. So thanks for joining me in this video.